Hi, I'm Scott, and in today's video, we will be going over vacuuming your pool. To get started, you'll need a couple things. You'll need a vacuum head, a vacuum hose, a vacuum plate, as well as a pole. Once you have all your things gathered, the first step is going to be connecting the vacuum head to the pole. Now, this should snap into place. You should see two tabs pop through the pole on most styles. Next, once this is attached, you're gonna walk over to where your hose is, and we're gonna attach the hose to the vacuum head. It's important to note that there are two distinct sides to the vacuum hose. One side swivels, one side does not. We wanna make sure we attach the side that swivels to the vacuum head. It should also be labeled. This makes it a lot easier to maneuver around the pool as you're vacuuming. So once you've located the correct side, go ahead and attach it. You're then going to grab the other side and walk over to your skimmer and you're going to grab your skimmer plate and attach that to the hose. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and set this part aside. Uh, we're not gonna be doing anything with this for the time being. Once you've got that all figured out, you can walk back over to your pole with the vacuum head and hose attached. And we're going to walk over to a return to flood it with water. The reason we do this is so that once you connect it, it doesn't suck air into the pump and cause it to lose its prime. You can also do this manually. Um, you can feed the hose straight down into the pool. This will also flood it with water, but this is a lot easier. So we recommend doing this. As you're filling it, you will notice the hose start to sink. Okay, so you'll be able to follow it up from where the base of the hose is attached to the head all the way towards uh, the other side where it's attached to the plate. Once you see most of it sink into the water, you can go ahead and set the hose in the pool somewhere where it's stable. And we're going to walk over to the pool equipment next to get this set up for proper vacuuming. On some pools, you'll be able to close your bottom drain. You will want to go ahead and do this. It should be a valve located in front of the pump, so you can shut this off. This will increase suction to the skimmer for stronger vacuuming power. Once you've done this on the variable speed pumps, you'll put the pump into quick clean mode by pressing the quick clean button. This will run the pump on high speed to increase suction power. It may run louder uh, than you're used to. This is perfectly normal. It's just because the pump is running in higher speed to increase the output. Once you have that set up, you're going to walk back over to where we have the vacuum plate. And then we're going to go ahead and kneel down and attach this into the actual skimmer. You'll want to make sure that the skimmer basket is still in place as this will be used to catch all the debris that you vacuum up instead of having it collect in the pump basket. Once you have it properly attached, you will feel it suck down away from you on the skimmer plate. And you may also notice some movement in the hose. Once it's attached, we're all set to start vacuuming. Just vacuum as needed. And then it's important to note that as you're vacuuming, you just want to make sure that the vacuum head stays below water so it doesn't pull in any air. That's all, and thanks for watching.